Let's talk about parasites. We're talking about internal parasites. Dogs and kittens get roundworms, hookworms, uh, dogs can get whipworms, and tapeworms. Those are the most common things that we see. All puppies and kittens are born with roundworms and hookworms. So we need to start deworming them very early. If we can, if the animals have come in early, we start at two weeks and we do it every two weeks. We do it at least four times at, four time, at, at two week intervals. So if we see a dog at 10 weeks of age or later, then we at least do the deworming as an oral product or some of our topical flea products also have parasite medications in them that will take care of roundworms and hookworms and even whipworms. Whipworms can be very difficult because they don't show up in every fecal exam. So a lot of times we may not look at a fecal, but we're still going to deworm the dog based on the history of a little bit of blood and the diarrhea um, and things like that. So whipworms can be difficult, but they can be very easily treated. Tapeworms come from fleas. If your dog has fleas, he bites at the flea, he consumes the flea, he will get tapeworms. Cats the same way, but sometimes cats eat the mice that have the fleas in them. So both of these guys need a, need a special product for tapeworms. Tapeworms are very common. In the feces, they look like small pieces of rice. So we can treat the roundworms, hookworms, whipworms, and tapeworms. Because roundworms and hookworms are a zoonotic disease. That means you and I can get that disease too. So it's always a good idea after you clean the litter box, after you pick up the poop in the yard, wash your hands.